In this video, we're gonna do a deep dive into the truth about what it's really like to spend time and live in Little Italy, San Diego. I know a thing or two about the neighborhood. I've been living there, it's coming up on six years. I can't believe it. I'm gonna talk to you about housing. I'm gonna talk to you about the cost of living. I'm gonna talk to you about a few other things that I really love about living in the neighborhood. And of course, I'm gonna cover a few things I could do without. But real quick, if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, my name is Wesley Guest. I'm a local real estate here in downtown San Diego and pretty much anywhere in San Diego for that matter. If you're looking for help moving to, from, or within San Diego, don't be shy about reaching out. My contact information is gonna be down below in the description. And I'm putting out content now at least once a week. If that's something you think you'd enjoy or you find helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's get into this. Let me give you a little background on the neighborhood of Little Italy before we get into all the fun stuff. The neighborhood was actually created when Italian immigrants arrived and they were working in the uh, tuna industry, like the local tuna fleet. This is like the early, early 1900s. The neighborhood grew from there and most people agree it kind of peaked in the 20s where you had an amazing neighborhood. But by the 1970s, if you can believe it, Little Italy was virtually abandoned, boarded up store windows, boarded up homes, and there just wasn't anybody there. People, families had moved out kind of to the nearby suburbs. But in the 1990s, some local business leaders and some community members decided to get together and come up with a plan to revitalize the neighborhood. And looking at things today, I would say it worked. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You're gonna find a variety of different shops, restaurants, cafes, cultural institutions, and it's a big attractant for tourists and locals alike. I mean, a lot of people live there now. So so let me show you Little Italy. It's right here on the map. It's kind of that upper northwest corner of downtown San Diego. So it's a decent sized area. It's not the biggest area, but it's definitely not the smallest. Technically it's part of downtown San Diego, but the vibes are gonna be way different in this part of the city. And I mean that in a good way. I mean, look how close it is to San Diego Bay, the waterfront park, easy access to the airport. I mean, I get there in five minutes or less. It is so easy to take trips. And look at the freeways. The freeways are right here. You can get on and off in a couple minutes. It is pretty ideal. So these are gonna be some of the basic things that you absolutely must know about the neighborhood. One of the very best things about visiting or living in Little Italy is going to be the food and the restaurant options. The restaurants are some of the very best in San Diego. Manello, Mona Lisa, Nona's, those are all gonna be Italian foods. And they're some of my favorite, And but there's so many other good ones as well. And the restaurants are not gonna be limited to just Italian. I mean, there's other great restaurants, phenomenal steakhouses, probably the most well-known is gonna be a steakhouse called Born and Raised. I mean, I go there for like, I've been there for my birthday, different like special events, lots of great options. I mean, outside of Italian food. Little locals tip, I'd say if you can, you don't have to. If you just wanna walk down, let's say like India Street and pick a restaurant, I mean, it's something that looks, that looks good to you. I mean, that will absolutely work. But if you can, make a reservation. It can make your life a lot easier. There's a very well-known and amazing farmer's market that happens in Little Italy, but what a lot of people don't know is that it happens not once a week, it happens twice. The one that most people are aware of, you get a lot of people even from outside of Little Italy that come in, is gonna be the Saturday farmer's market. It's gonna stretch all the way along West State Street, right through the Piazza de Familia. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Then there's one on Wednesdays that it's in the same spot, it's just a little bit smaller. The main street, or like main drag, let's say in Little Italy is gonna be India Street, although Kettner Boulevard is very popular as well, but most of the shops and restaurants are gonna be on India Street, and the center point is gonna be where India Street crosses West uh, West State Street. You're gonna have the Piazza de Familia there, and you're also gonna have like the famous over the India Street Little Italy sign. It's a very popular spot for a selfie. So the Piazza de Familia, you may have seen pictures at this point. It's a huge plaza surrounded by an apartment building here called Vici, and then another apartment building here called Ammo. Massive fountain, there's food courts on both sides of the plaza. You can sit outside, so you can take your food from any of the restaurants, kind of like food court style. And there's a couple bars there, there's like a Graze by Sam. Sam, like the famous YouTube guy, so that's it, those are his restaurants. You should go there, but you should also make this. You can take your food from any of the restaurants, you can take drinks from any of the bars, and you can bring them outside into the plaza. They're also gonna have different performers. There's gonna be acoustic singers, there's gonna be bands out there. There's like a Latin like dancing night, that's pretty popular, you get tons of people who come out for that. One of my favorite parts about Little Italy is they have 
a huge enclosed dog park. There's gonna be a very big side, which is gonna be for like the bigger dogs, they can run around, and then there's a smaller area for like the little dogs. Most of the time, there's gonna be tons of people there. It's awesome for dogs. Actually, I should point out, the entire area is super dog friendly in general. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't live here. So there's also gonna be like little wine tasting uh, rooms that are a lot of fun if you're into wine. A couple of my favorite ones to hit up are gonna be like Polly Wine. There's another one called Amy's Wine House which is a lot of fun, right across the street from Born and Raised. And then there are like special events that happen. Um, one of the bigger ones that happens once a year is gonna be the Little Italy Art Walk. It almost takes over like the entire neighborhood. You have tons of local artists there. If you're looking for art or decor for your home, I mean, it's a perfect place to go. I found a couple pieces last year. I love them, don't laugh. Nerd alert! And then there's gonna be other events that happen as well. It's pretty much something happening every given weekend. I wanna give you a quick pros and cons list as well to go along with my assessment of living in Little Italy. And honestly, I could probably make an entire video on the pros and cons. These are gonna be brief, but it's just because I don't wanna make a super long video here. I just wanna tell you everything you probably need to know. So offhand, the pros are gonna be, it's very walkable. I mean, it's not the big of an area. I mean, you can walk anywhere very easily. Transportation options, I mean, galore. Train station is right there. Trolley station is right there. There's electric scooters. There's a million Ubers and Lyfts that you can hire. I, it's so easy. That being said, and I'm throwing a comment here real quick, but parking is not easy. If you live here and have a parking spot, no problem problem, but if you're driving in, just visiting or visiting somebody else, anticipate having a little bit of potential difficulty finding a place to park. Okay, back to the pros. People, I think in general, are pretty nice. I mean, anywhere it goes, maybe about apples, but I think for the most part, most of my neighbors and everybody I know, I mean, everybody is in a pretty good mood and pretty nice. I mean, there's a homeless situation happening, just like pretty much seems like everywhere else happening everywhere else, but it's not as bad as say, like if you go downtown, into downtown San Diego, it's nothing like East Village. There's a few homeless people here and there, but it's not as big of a problem, I would say, as other parts of downtown San Diego. And Final Pro is you're just so close to downtown San Diego. It is so easy to walk or take an Uber or take an electric scooter, however you want to get there and go to, let's say, the gas lamp quarter. Maybe hit up a restaurant there, maybe go to a pub, something like that. East Village even. I mean, it is so close. All right, so we already talked about one con, which is going to be the parking. Another con you probably should be thinking about is going to be airplane noise. So the airplanes do generally land and over the northern part of Little Italy. So depending on how north you are, you could be exposed to some serious airplane noise. You're right by the trolley tracks and the main train tracks, so you're gonna hear train noise sometimes. You're also close enough to the Navy base, so you are gonna hear like airplanes, like fighter jets sometimes taking off. It can be real late at night. And then the cost of living. I mean, Little Italy, it's a great place to live, but it's not the cheapest place to live. And then finally, it's gonna be part of downtown San Diego. So, I mean, things happen in the city. We're not immune to it in Little Italy. I mean things spill over at times. Okay, so let's talk about housing. And this is what I do, so I have some insight here that I definitely wanna share with you. Little Italy, as far as like the city in downtown San Diego goes, it's one of the only areas where not there's gonna be condominiums, there's gonna be townhomes, there's gonna be lots of apartments, but there are gonna be some actual homes or like detached home options. Some people live in some of the homes, some of them are vacation rentals, and then some of them are shops, but there are some people that live in homes in Little Italy. Otherwise, most people, if you're living in Little Italy, you're gonna either gonna be in a condominium or you're probably gonna be in an apartment. As far as apartments go, I mean, there are tons and tons and tons of options in Little Italy to live. The downside is that there's really no inexpensive options. It's probably gonna be one of the most expensive areas in the entire downtown San Diego, maybe even the city, to rent an apartment. Most of them are considered luxury, like high rises or luxury apartments. And then here are gonna be some of the latest real estate, like market stats for Little Italy specifically. If you're interested in investing Investing and buying like into a condominium. A lot of great condominium options. They're always very popular in Little Italy. And here's something to keep in mind if you're considering buying a condominium in Little Italy. A lot of people end up buying in some of the luxury high rises right next door in the Columbia District. The reason being, those are some of the nicest condos in the entire downtown San Diego. And it's on the border of Little Italy, whereas a lot of people, even people who live there, don't realize they don't live in Little Italy. It's like very difficult to tell. It's that close. So let me give you my personal opinion about living there on um, whether I actually like it or not and I have to be honest with you it's awesome <laughs> that's what I wanted to hear there are so many fun things happening it's great for my dogs there's always amazing restaurants I can go out to. There's always something happening. I'm never bored. If you like a little bit of like action, like that city vibe happening, I mean, it's the place to be. If you're living in Little Italy, San Diego, and you have stuff to add to this video, 
please drop it in the comments. We all want to read it. And like I said before, if you need help moving to from or within Little Italy or anywhere in San Diego for that matter, don't be shy about reaching out to me. I'd love to talk to you about it. And if you found this entertaining or useful, please subscribe. If you're looking for your next video, uh, check this one out over here. I think you might find it useful. Have an amazing day.